Yeah. All right. Uh, dropping decibels episode one. Are we calling it episode one? Yeah, it's episode. How one. about one point one? Nothing happened. No, nothing happened before that, okay? All right. We, we <laughs> no, just no, forget. They zero. won't see 1.0. That never happened. Oh, all right, yeah. First episode. Good. Going, yeah. All right. Uh, so, do you guys want to, like, introduce yourselves? Or You can start. Uh, start. start, yeah. I should start. Uh, hey, it's Bulls. Um, the the mashup guy. Except I'm not doing those that? anymore. Who is this tool? Sorry, what? Nothing, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want to go now? <laughs> sure. Right. No, keep going. Keep going. Don't let him stop right. you. Um, yeah, we're doing a podcast now. Um, I'm kind of tired of the mashup thing. This the new thing. Unsubbed. Yeah, thanks. All right, next one. <laughs> Good. Uh, hi, um, Louis. Uh, I don't do anything online except tweet stupid shit. Uh, you listen to Ooga Booga by the musical group Static Swords out now on every streaming service. Um, album Fuck, of the year, out, uh, fucking Sound of the Summer, check it out. Uh, Hell yeah. Yeah, next, next person, next human. I'm the pop star dude. That is to say, I'm a dude from pop star Kirby, the game character's home planet. I don't like pop music. It sucks. I play the accordion. Wow. I like... I don't even know what I like. I like all kinds of music. Except I guess I'm more music. of a, like a theory oriented guy because I study that and like composition, and uh, I don't like rap. That's gonna become apparent. Boomer. <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> Dang it! Hello there. Right. I am Ultima Thanks. Six, uh, but I usually go by Zeno Primo. Um, I do lots of visual arts. I'm mostly a cartoony kind of guy. I just draw most of the time. Uh, I I am the resident pleb. All these people, lovely uh, folks here, listen to really nice music. I listen to Future Funk twenty four seven, and it's such, <laughs> it's such garbage. But gosh dang, is it fun to listen to for me? <laughs> I think I, we all have a bit of garbage inside of us that we can relate. To. Yeah, yeah, we're all a bit garbage. That's okay. Uh, yeah, it, it adds personality to to the man, you know. Totally. Hey, yeah. Speaking anyway, of garbage, think... what did you guys think of the Young Fug <laughs> album? Ooh. Ooh. That's a, that's a what a segue. segue. <laughs> wow, dude. That was smooth. I, um, should we talk about like who a young thug is and what does? Sure, yeah. A bit hey, of who is? Please educate me. I, I know zero about him. You you send me, me albums either. like through mega links, and I'm like, okay, let's have let's see what this. Uh, no, I send you the agenda uh, today. legit links to streaming services. I don't give you a download links because that's illegal, and we don't. Do that, that is very illegal. <laughs> I have never. Sorry, yeah. it must be someone yeah, else I'm thinking of. We're on the yeah. ice here. <laughs> Yeah, we're so um, so legal. Yeah, Young Thugs like a uh, auto tune rapper slash singer. I don't know what you like. What a good start. He's a game he changer. Does. Yeah, yeah, sure is. Um, he has this like really strange vocal style. Um, like I have no idea what Young Thug sounds like without auto tune. Like, has like anyone ever heard him without Yeah, like in interviews, he sounds like a homeless person. Yeah, like the <laughs> thing he does with like when he's singing or rapping. Like, what's that sound like? Without auto tune. Uh, Why is every picture of him in a suit? Because he wears suits. It's rich, yeah. He I has know, the money, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's that clout. Well, basically, right, so he's this... just a person that makes fun music occasionally. Yeah, sometimes. And then the rest of it, he makes like boring trap. Um, so yeah, this new album, yes. Slime Language, uh, which is out on his <laughs> can own I just say label. Fucking, can I just say the fucking album name is genius? Slime like, Language. That is a very good name. <laughs> Freaking my, my buddy Evan like, has been like calling yeah. me slime like for the last like three months, and I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then like you show me this album, and I'm like, he's this is what he's talking about. He's oh, man, I'm just imagining he's, he's like looking at fucking sign languages, and he's like, nah, I'm young fuck. This is slime language. <laughs> Young Thug That's exactly what language. happened. No, man. This is my thing now. Slime <laughs> language, dude. Yeah. It's it's just uh, sign okay. language, but a little bit sloppier. Yeah. Yeah. Good uncle, yeah. And you have uh, to have a joint in your left hand. First of all, I'm like... Uh, first thing to say, I'm like so prepared for this. Okay. Um, it was fucking inevitable that uh, this will be shit on. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, no, I'm not going to be one of these three dudes that are just going to say, nah, it's boring, it's bad. I'm going to enjoy this shit. 
So I was right. listening to it. I was like, okay, he's going to do fun out of tune. He's going to bring fun beats. It's going to be fun. Not going to be fucking 200 IQ intellectual shit. But he can <laughs> probably do some funny lyrics. Something yeah. that One he can could quote. Say it was it's going to be fine. <laughs> um, look, this shit is boring. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. It's fucking boring. Like, um, okay. Nothing that's the thing, like Young Thug, like, he's like, the thing that makes him interesting is like, uh, his vocal style, right? And sometimes, yeah, but, like, yes. decent production. Uh, but this album's like, um, it's out on his, like, own label, Young Stoner Life Records, which is like a great name for a record <laughs> label. Um, and apparently, like, it's, it's not supposed to be like a Young Thug record. It's, uh, it's a Young Stoner Life compilation. Is this, and is that's that why, why every single track in? has a fucking garbage feature on it. <laughs> and they all sound like fucking young fuck they all copies. S- they <laughs> all fucking suck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but like, this, this is made from the first Tracy album. Tracy T, or... <sighs> Gunna, and Lil Baby. Lil, Lil, Lil yeah, Uzi Vert. Lil Key. Why is everyone Lil? I mean, I mean Lil Uzi Vert, like, he has like actual... He's like the only person recognizing yeah. this. Yeah. And Tracy T, yeah. maybe. But yeah, yeah like yeah. most of the dudes just sound like people that listen to Young Fuck now. Like, okay, I'm gonna do this, and then Young yeah, Fuck was like, "Hey, was... hey, I, I fuck with you. You're gonna be featured yeah. on my album." He like posted yeah. a Twitter announcement, and it's like, "Yo, guys, DM me if you want to be my album." <laughs> you be my <laughs> oh, yeah. Please DM oh, uh, me. Yeah. Oh fuck! I should mention. Um, did you guys hear about the, the like the promotional stunt they did for this album? No, uh, I nah. Do you explain? Um, they sent a live fucking snake. To the XXL office with uh, with like the track list, they had like a whole terrarium. Did somebody um, die? For the <laughs> no, it was in like a glass terrarium. What kind of snake? Uh, and the snake's name was Sex. <laughs> oh, yeah, he changed his name to Sex. sex. Just the sex. fucking dude, the fucking guy. Sex, <laughs> the snake. It's like official when you yeah. go to the uh, Wikipedia page for Young Fuck. One of the aliases is Sex. Yeah. He's so such a like, like, he's like gonna himself. legally change his name to sex. Because, I think. So because of that, like, uh, despite his music, nothing but respect for Young Fuck. He's he's just killing it. Yeah. <laughs> just killing yeah. it. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know the man, but he sounds very fun. Yeah. He is, yeah, but sometimes, like, I think his voice can be extremely fun. Like, yeah. uh, in, uh, when he does the uh, auto tune good, <laughs> my voice is kill- dying. Okay, when he does the auto tune well. It just to me, like it's subjective, but to me he can sound like incredibly fun. And yeah. he has like a bouncy beat on it. When he's saying some shit that's like retarded but kind of funny at the same time. Yeah. It's good. It's good. But this shit, like the fucking first track, he was instantly going to like uh height registers in his voice that I didn't even think were possible. And I was just like, <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here the we go. First track. Yeah, like, Tsunami, I think, was tsunami, the first track. Right. And, like, throughout the entire thing, he just sings so fucking high. Yeah. No pun intended. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's, he was high in all the ways he can be. Yeah, that, that's yeah. that's how he do it. But yeah, yeah like, I think it's like he lives he in reaches, a constant state of high. He's fucking, well, he's fucking reaching with his voice. Why is it... It, it's so annoying throughout it's the auto-tune. entire thing. It's gonna be auto tune. You can it's not see because it of the tune. It's not just because of the auto tune. It's because he's constantly trying to sing as highly as possible. He's just like yeah. really reaching up with the vocal registers. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah. have to be high. You're auto tuning the whole damn thing. Yeah, but you know, he, he, when you're a young fuck, everything is possible. Yeah. Right. What about how yeah, about he sings young, it as high like... as possible, and they just put the vocal track into audacity and put it down an octave Ooh. oh yeah that, that album might be like that's the future 30 percent best better oh yeah that's future <laughs> but yeah, yeah. um uh, overall i wanted like uh funny lyrics that you can quote i didn't get that i don't even know what he said like i looked some I lyrics up and i was just like okay I, I okay down, i don't care i wrote down i don't care uh, i looked up on genius like the whole album's fucking lyrics and i wrote down the dumbest ones Okay. But I have them on my laptop, so give me a sec. I, do, yeah, okay. Get them out. Meanwhile, I would just say, okay, I didn't get the fun lyrics, I think. I didn't get anything fun out of the instrumentation. It was just kind of annoying and tedious to listen to. I think Zix and I could, um, before we get into the funny lyrics, we should probably oh, give yeah. some quick, like, overall thoughts. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, go first. I'm very interested. I okay. don't care. It's Damn. boring. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's it. Ruth Ling. <laughs> that's, that's all it says on your notes. It's like a Career giant ended. Book. Just says yeah, that I've got <laughs> okay for the other two albums. I've got like at least a page for the whole album, like each song. Damn. I've got like notes Owie. and like right. in Young Thug, all that I have it says here is like meh. <laughs> yeah, I Wait. don't. I just don't know how to critique rap, and because of that, the whole album was kind of like okay. <laughs> You know, there. Okay, so f- for me, yeah. like I'm okay with rap as long as it tells like either a good story or like captures me in some way, shape, or form. Like I, I Gorillaz introduced me to rap at a fairly young age, and stuff like uh, Saturn's Bars and uh, Unhumans actually caught my attention for some newer stuff in terms of like what I enjoy in rap, and uh, yep. that was something. It was something really new to me. This album. I've never heard anything that was so in one ear and out the other for me. It, it was it was <laughs> surreal that I I fell asleep like faster the night that I listened to it because my wow. brain was so exhausted trying to find something to like latch onto, but I couldn't find anything. I think it's kind of pathetic that like the only rap music, the only rap music that I can say that I really enjoy because I've listened to so little is like Gangsta's Paradise. And oh, the yeah. Hamilton that's soundtrack. Good one, You're reaching back to the classics. And that's it. But yeah, for me, yeah. it's like I listen to a lot of like, I I enjoy most of the stupid fucking dumb trap music. Like, dude, F- Walker Flock is just bangers after bangers. Yeah. Danzo Curry, I fuck with him. Uh, like, uh, Play Curry can be fun as fuck to listen to, but this shit is uh, I don't know. He's not really doing anything interesting. That yeah. hasn't been done before. He doesn't even... Like, I just want it to sound fun, okay? It's all about the voice for me. He doesn't sound like... It's not fun to listen to him doing the same tra- rap thing. Like, yeah. he, no. Dude, no. Right. You so, do to. we have like, the quotes ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, also, I, I'm also so- I want to mention uh, the intro to Audemars. Holy fucking shit. That's like the only oh, part yeah. where he goes... <laughs> does something, like, Is interesting that the one with, with his voice. Is yeah. that the one with the ads? Skirt, 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 yeah. skirt, 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 yeah. That's also what I want. Like, hilarious ad libs fucking add so much to the music, yeah. to music like that. Yeah. And that's all, that was, okay, that, okay. That, that one was genuinely enjoyable because it's so yeah. stupid. He's doing yeah. like the fucking nasally voice with the, like, like the fucking skirt. Yeah. Like, you he's can't, like, like, pushing even, his you throat can't down it. with like, the You thing. can't do like an impression of it. <laughs> yeah, it's that's not, right. it's not I will possible. Admit that was fairly How does he do it? It sounds like he's just pushing his throat down with his fingers and doing, and doing that. <laughs> scat, scat, scat. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, I'm listening to it all again. And, uh, yeah, you're exactly right. See that? Yeah. That that's the shit the I want. It's hilarious. This? It's hilarious. Yeah. It's good. I wish the album was like just the intro looked. Like, even if like, this, even if this album was genuinely shitty, it would be enjoyable. Hell because yeah. of how shitty it is, but it, this album honestly is not shitty. It's just you know not. There's nothing about it to say. Yeah, it's like, like it's not yeah. so bad that it's good. It's just like, bad. I was hoping yeah. I didn't even expect uh, another like Jeffrey, like Jeffrey's one, probably one of his best projects. Because yeah, Jeffrey's like, actually like it's not even bad. It's like generally well produced. Yeah. He sounds fun. And it's yeah. fucked to it when he does his thing. Yeah, there was that uh, EP he did with Carnage. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, yeah. That was, I was like, and with that one, I didn't even expect one of those. I was just like, okay, at least do something that's like funny. Yeah. So I can still enjoy listening to it. But it isn't even yeah. so bad and it's funny. It's just like, okay, it sounds like the guy that produced it like looked at these uh fucking do a trap beat of in five minutes in FL Studio <laughs> videos and made it. <laughs> yeah. And then he's just like, okay, I can I can sing on top of this. <laughs> <laughs> he just he posts like that a, noise for 20 minutes he, he posts yeah. like one of those job applications to like um job forums where it's like yeah. need and need a soundcloud artist for a trap beat please <laughs> please message thing me is, the thing is i feel like i feel like such a dad for critiquing this mm-hmm. because that's like what all the people say oh it's, it's just it's just noise He's just he's just shouting it's not real music like i feel like a boomer for critiquing this but really it's just not enjoyable <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, here's, okay. here's the thing. Like, the reason I listen to so much Future Funk is because the beats are so like it, po- it it's pops. It pops constantly. It it's just cocaine keeps me... music. Yeah, it's it's really fun to listen to because the beat is so 
it's so punchy. All the all the trap beats in this just feel so generic. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's I, like, I kind of uh, recognize Young Thugs doing no nothing interesting. The beats aren't doing like, but none of different. them are here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, All Young Thug had to do to make the beat entertaining was to like grab grab a future funk artist, grab for the <laughs> night temple, Dude, young, young, thug, young Bay, future funk. grab Young Bay. He also has Young in the name. Oh shit! <laughs> Yo, you gotta hit him up with those artists, man. Yeah, and wait, yeah. Wait. The next album. you can if you for want the next a Young fucking Stoner fu- Records album. Like if you yeah. want future funk trap rap, just listen to y- like Young Lean. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know I do actually enjoy Young Lean. See, oh. good, oh, yeah. good. Good. I like I like Cloud Rap. Cloud Rap is freaking fun. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Good. All right. Should we do I, the lyrics now? Uh, does anyone have actually anything new to add to this before we do the lyrics? I think we should just do no. the lyrics. Yeah. Let's okay. go. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm set for this. All right. All right. So first off, uh, I didn't know what this meant. I had to look up the genius interpretation. I like the way she gave me head. I call her Mitchell and Ness. <laughs> which is a American sport clothing company known for making their popular hats. In which Thugger draws a comparison to receiving ah. head, in parentheses, oral <laughs> sex you. from his girl. Is so he because... implying that girls are just hats for his dick? Yeah. <laughs> she gives yeah. me head like a thing I, I put on my head. I bet he's just like, okay, giving head. Head. Hat. Dude, hilarious, it. dude. Oh, uh, what goes on the hat? Uh. <laughs> that was like fucking... That was like a dad pun for trap rappers. Yeah. I hate it. I hate All it. Right. Thanks. Okay, next I one. hate it. Next one. <laughs> I despise it. Bitch, put my kids on your tits. <laughs> yes. Wait, <can> I... <laughs> I don't even need the interpretation. <laughs> yeah. Excuse That's me. That's pretty. Okay. Um, last this one's a bit unclear. There was no, like, genius explanation for this. Uh, I slimed up my grandma. <laughs> what? Oh my god. That just reminds me of the Mountain Dew competition back in the day. Do you remember the Do you remember the Nickelodeon slime things? Which is is just. (laughs) Dude, the last album we like looked at in the um, defunct episode one was Denzel Curry. And um, I must say, this is a lot, like, as a whole. It's so much vulgar, this one. Like, there's so much, yeah. like, sex stuff. Yeah, like, it's not... I, I get that's part of the thing. It's like, yeah, the man changed stuff. his name to <laughs> sex so, legally. Cha- and it's really it's so bad. Name. It's yeah. so dumb. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not fun dumb. It's just Yeah, dumb. it's yeah. not fun dumb. Yeah. All right, next one. Are more? Yeah, good. Uh, by the way, I'm censoring the N-word as fella. Just okay. so you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank Got you. it. All right. I know fellas getting extorted like the common cold. I done ate cereal out a plate. I done ate cereal out a bowl. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. Huh? I, okay. He I think this one needs a little bit of explanation. Um, I don't know what there's no explanation. Like, I don't see how the common cold thing um, like links with the, with the cereal. Eating cereal off a plate. Yeah, but it rhymes, dude. You got it. it it's, yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> no, dude, it that's is a point. mystery. Yeah. It's good. Do you never eat cereal off a plate? And then, yeah, dude. I, like, I mean, I probably eat Weetabix <laughs> off the plate. Oh, I shit, would. Yeah. Does that count? I, I do actually yeah, eat really cereal. Like, I could eat cereal on a plate because the way most people eat cereal is they put milk in the cereal. I actually yeah. just, like, Grab the bowl of cereal and then a glass of milk. And I just take a bite of the cereal and I drink the milk. Well, that's a chat. You that's one way to do it. Guys, do you ever just like uh, put the cereal on a plate and then like take the plate and scoop all the cereal into your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of those. Plate or it wouldn't fall. That reminds me of those gifts, gifts that have been floating around, where it's like there's like someone laying on the floor and they're, like oh, pour yeah. cereal oh, in yeah, their that's mouth what and then milk and then it <laughs> expl- <laughs> I love explodes. That one. <laughs> yeah, guys. Okay, wait, wait. I just realized something. I think um, it, with the slime, his grandma line. I think sliming for him is him is like giving someone jewelry. Oh, I mean that um, could be. Yeah. That sounds a lot better than what because I because yeah, like yeah. young the dude has like used slime as a word in like every single sentence he ever spoke since two thousand eleven. Is there like any consistent meaning to it, or is it just different like, context? Know, like, almost every single album he does. He just mentions slime in some way. I don't know what kind of fucking fetish he has, but... Wait, wait a second. You mean to tell me he just uses slime the same way Smurfs use the word Smurf? Oh, shit. Uh, oh, oh, shit. oh, yeah. Ooh. Totally. Yeah. 
That's it. Maybe, maybe That's he said it. Pokemon. We've cracked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's just into slime girls. Oh, oh yeah. what a sick out. <laughs> All right. Next Good one. Man. The next one, yeah. Um, money got me shit in like a laxative. What? <laughs> Why is it doing that? Dude, it shouldn't do that. that. <laughs> That's it. Eating the money. Maybe he's shitting out the beats or the music. Generally. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah. Oh wow. Oh dude. Maybe he's self-aware. He makes shitty music because it sells. He doesn't need yeah. to make good music. He's self-aware. Holy shit! All oh, connects. Oh wow. The triangles. Oh, wow. So you guys see the triangles. Holy shit, dude. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Wake up, sheeple. Yeah. <laughs> Do we got um, all right uh, yeah oh i want to mention uh on the on the hook of Audemar. he does like a really weird thing with his voice like at the end of the hook um i don't remember what he said but that was fun um next one uh bad little bitch good brain go to college that's supportive that's just positive that's super yeah it's yeah, all over positivity yeah yeah no, I, I don't got a problem mental with attitude yeah um I don't think I had anymore. That's it. No, that that was good. That was like kind yeah, of fun. That was, was like, worth this whole coming here in general is worth it. Just that one moment. Yeah, what was that like five good lines on the whole album? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even that like good, so good, but just stupid. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> out of out of how many songs? Fifteen. Uh, Way too many. Like fifteen too many. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah. Holy Young shit! Like, I mean, baby at least it's not like saying, two hours please. long. Oh yeah. That's the only- like because fucking was like, uh, the Drake album or like yeah it's wasn't like, like uh, not even Culture for two by Migos wasn't that like really yeah that was like more two? than two hours yeah like oh, fucking shit. these days it's like not for granted that somebody doesn't do like a two hour shitty album yeah good yeah. I do uh, we have that album behind us now <sighs> that's a big <laughs> yeah. load off our shoulders honestly yeah yeah <laughs> wait overall uh uh What's you don't even need to do a one to ten score. What score would you give this? A uh, bad out of bad. <laughs> wait, bad that's a full score. Uh, wait, yeah. yeah, shit, that's true. Bad out of it's, good. It's just bad. Just yeah, bad, bad out, out of good. Just yeah. bad out of nothing at all. Just bad. Yeah, I, I'd well, give this we like... had like something like thought up in our defunct first episode, like our rating system. I forgot what it was. Did we? Yeah, I was just like, uh, no, oh, forget yeah. that. Forget it, I was stupid. I give this album, like, uh, fucking six good lines out of four in tracks. <laughs> um, <laughs> as for my score, I give this... Ah, oh, fuck. I guess I'm just gonna go with bad out of good. Yeah. <laughs> Lame. Okay. Yeah, real original, yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Worst, worst podcast member, by the way. I give I give this album a uh, this laptop out of here. a board scribble out of a masterpiece. Good. Oh, that's a good one. Be- best that's score one. out of four. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, you put me on the spot here. <laughs> good one. Good one. Okay. Oh, quick, think of a metaphor. Dude. Metaphor. <laughs> I give I, I give this a glass of piss out of a bottle of Gambina. <laughs> I yeah, that like, probably makes sense if you think about it long enough. But um, I'd give this like a glass of warm water out, out of a fucking Euroshopper energy drink. A glass of warm Coke out of a glass out of, of cold, a cold Coke. <laughs> That's how we're going to set it, okay? That's a final score. Yeah. Yep. Are we going to spend like five more minutes on the score thing? No, okay, next one OCs? is fucking... <laughs> right. Next one, OC small, s- s- snot receiver. Smo- smo- <laughs> snot receiver. Finally, some Did good you say snot music. receiver? Snot <laughs> receiver. Snot <laughs> receiver. <laughs> All right. Uh, the OCs. Smote reverser. Right? Oh, yeah. 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 That's, yeah. The, that's the album. Uh, do you have anything to say about that? Because I'm really I've not... got notes, finally. Yeah. Yeah. I am um, okay. Kill so w- what I have is that I have the album name and then like a sort of overall little message, and then I've got each track with her. And uh, mm-hmm. my overall message is Smote Reverser. Jesus Christ! Is this entire album in Dorian? In Excuse what? me. Dorian. <laughs> it's Dorian. It's is that criticism or is this good? Ba- okay. Oh. <laughs> this is theory. Wait. I feel but like you need what to I mean is that yeah. the entire album has the same sort of melodical feel. 
So you're yeah, saying it's that's boring. Really- I'm not saying it's boring per se, but I'm saying it's very static. It doesn't do anything else. Yeah, and it doesn't find... like go in any different direction. Yeah, it has one and also it's it's it the same path. thing as okay. So from what I understand, I'm gonna get let Bull go a bit more in depth if, if he wants to about the relation between King Gizzard and um, OCs. Oh damn! But oh. Um, I'm just gonna say right, this sure. is like this is nothing. These guys or King Gizzard hasn't done before. It's the same. Me- it's the same mood. It's the same rhythms. It's the same. Uh, I don't know. Mm, like I don't know uh, about that. the two guys kind of do the same thing. But like, first of all, I hope you know that King Gizzard are once ripping them off. Yeah, I know. That, that's, okay, that, these are good. But I think guys. like okay. Before I say anything, I'm not really enjoying this album. Uh, but still, I think it sounds different than most of the stuff, or yeah. or at least most of the, most of the recent King Gizzard stuff. Yeah, and also most of like, uh, like earlier it DLCs worse. material. Definitely, but uh, the thing is, it sounds like one thing throughout the entire album to me. Yeah, but yeah, that's like, what I mean. Except for oh, one yeah. exception, Overthrown is it, it slaps. Okay, Overthrown is it's slap. a fucking slap. Uh, but dude. the thing is, Overthrown is the only track out of the eleven tracks <laughs> on this album that sounds like the album cover. I'm gonna say also oh, yeah. look at my notes. Overthrown is the only track in this album that does not have. A Dorian sort of melodical structure. Mm. So see, it's yeah. awesome. Take take of take of that what you will, but it's, so the, like only, it's about... the only good one. I was gonna say, Overthrown is the only track where the vocals are different, and the vocals are fucking nasty on this one. <clears throat> oh, sh- like yeah. he sounds, he sounds like the creature on the album cover. Yeah, I kind of. I was like gonna it. say, he like he sounds sounds like like um some of the stuff like you'd hear on like a power electronics thing. Right? Yeah, he sounds mm-hmm. fucking disgusting. Yeah, See, I, I kind of like and, and, it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I like the song. Yeah, it's fucking great, dude. It's the thing is, that's the first that's that's the first track that came off the album. I listened to it and I was like, holy shit, they're doing this shit. It sounds yeah. like kind of metal, Sentient but not Duna. really, while keeping the like garage rock and like psychedelic yeah. rock feel. Yeah, but it's like different. It's nothing I've heard before in terms of like merging genres. And I was like, okay, okay, man, this album's gonna be amazing. Yeah, but, like was, uh, the remaining ten like... albums sounds like the old shit. I feel like this album, okay, so from like, I'm gonna be kind of comparing this to King Gizzard, because like lately, the ones that I've listened to, um, their albums have had a yeah. sort of like, theme to them, like, you know, you got Flying Microtonal Banana, which is like, obviously, it's it's got a lot of microtonality, you've got Nonagon like, Infinity, which um... is, it's meant to play sort of infinitely, because it loops, loops perfectly and stuff, but then this one... I can't really get a single sort of like profound idea that they like want to go for. I feel like they more just like want to make a solid album without any like sort of yes. binding That's a thing, theme, like, which is fine. But I not think to shit on like the King Gizzard albums, but I call them like more gimmicks than anything. Okay, what they well that's, that's fair, but yeah, I'm, that's I'm, fair. again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm just saying it's it's something that's uh, probably good to sort of distinguish that it's more of a sort of album with standalone songs rather than yeah. an album that is meant to be a coherent whole, like a single thing. Yeah. Um, I will say I, I like this album. I think it's fine. Yeah, um, I, I do like it. Uh, I think the... Was last year? Uh, they dropped yeah. Orc. Orc, right? yeah. Orc, yeah. Uh, which I actually fucking love that album. Um, uh, it feels like, you know... Yeah, I like Orc. I like Orc a lot. Haven't heard um, it yet, but I should listen Orc to it. Orc is good. Orc is really good. The thing um, I differentiate the two is like Orc. Uh, when I listened to that, I was like, okay. Um, it sounds like King Gizzard, but not really because like, I f- King Gizzard just sounds so like one genre purist to me. Yeah, it's like it's I either like that. they either do like prog rock or psych rock or garage rock, not really mixing it up. I guess which is fine is enough. That... Which is fine enough. While Orc just sound like such a clusterfuck of everything, not in a bad yeah. way, but it's like. It was interesting. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I think for me, it's that um, you're kind of. I get. I guess what what you're saying is that the sound and the instrumentation and stuff is very much the same for all of the Gizzard albums, but um, I, yeah, kind of. And the kinda. vocals and like the overall sort of like presentation and mix. Definitely. But, but for me, it's oh, like yeah. I sort of more um, distinguish between the composition because, um, for example, you know, not like an Infinity. That one also has a lot of Dorian bits, but then Flying Monkeytonal Banana is more Phrygian and sort of Eastern, but they still all have basically the same mix. 
the same sort of instruments, the same presentation, but it's just yeah. that and, yeah, the and that's composition what I can wanna... change. A sort of same like vocal quirks, like the like yeah, the yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's like keeping your own style and... with trying different things, which is good. But yeah. uh, I kind of feel like we're moving away from the actual album in question. Yeah. What I all right, I, I want to say what <laughs> yeah, I yeah. what I listened to of King Gizzard, I did like, but I had the same problem I feel with some other genres kind of have, where all the songs kind of sound very very similar to each other. Yeah. It yeah. Every King means... Gizzard song sounds kind of the same. Especially yeah. like and that's, when you're... and that's not a bad thing. Like if you can oh, no. still yeah. tell the difference between the two, that just shows kind of how much of a fan of that genre you are. But in yeah. in the Small Reverser, I I don't know. I really did actually like this one. Every song, although had the same vibe, actually felt different enough for me to really enjoy it. I and... kind of want to go into that as well because um, yeah. when, you, when you compare songs in say Nonagon Infinity, like inside the album, they all basically sound the same. They all have the same rhythm, same tempo, because they're meant to be sort of played back to back to back to back to back, you know, infinitely. Yeah. But this one, there's a lot of a lot of like, I I did say that they have sort of like the same. Um, melodical and harmonical structure but like say the grooves are pretty different with each one they can be some songs are faster some songs are fucking slower love the grooves on this thing. They, it's yeah. like there's um last piece which is the fifth one that's my favorite i think because it's a little more relaxing it's got some like it's less dark in its mix it's a little, little bit more like major tonality it's got some choir stuff in there with the vocals yeah. And it transitions into a more fast-paced track that goes into, like, the next one. There's a lot of, like, it, it doesn't stay still when it comes to the rhythm and sort of groove, I think. Yeah. It's I got a lot of, like, me, I want to shout out the of... fucking drumming on this, like, like, the performances in general. Really? Which are always good drumming on the DLC, so... I mean, I do think these... Wait, what? The instrumental yeah, dude, solos the tr- are The drumming sounds like bad, they're recorded... But... The drumming is so badly recorded, though. Sounds oh, so... Well, I mean, they, like, they didn't change sure. anything about it. It sounds like a demo. Oh, I mean, recorded, sure. I meant, like, the performance... I do think, as, Even I, as that I was didn't saying, really I stick out to don't me think the solos, like the instrumental solos, like the guitar stuff, are that good. It's yeah. pretty yeah. naive funny, when it though. comes to, like, they're, they're not really doing anything crazy that they could be doing. They're just kind of, like, doing variations on the same theme. Yeah. But what do you think the fucking, what's, the, what's the 12-minute what? track? Um, uh, Anthemic I don't want to pronounce it. But it's Anthemic like, Aggressor. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, it's worst track on the album. That shouldn't which be one? there. Yeah. Which one? That so should what? be like at least seven minutes. Which sure. one? Like Anthemic uh, Aggressor, like the longest. I remember track. listening to Anthemic Aggressor while like doing like yeah. Okay, something. okay, I've got my notes. And I was here. drawing the same line over and over, and I'm just like, is this song over yet? And then I've I got, skipped I've, the I'm song. I'm gonna read out my notes. Then... I've got my um little like um... <laughs> that's like a really sort of steady like I think I like it. Uh, the same you bass wanted... group all the way through, and then the other yeah. instrument. Yeah, yeah. I know like, you want to do a long like ass, improv. giant ass, fucking anthemic masterpiece track or whatever. You need yeah. to actually put variation on it beyond yeah, doing the same bass. Yeah, it's got a good bass, I think. The... It's pretty modal. It's yeah, got, but it's I don't want to like listen to this shit a... for 12 minutes while okay. other, other okay, people are trying to say some what I'm free trying to say for the whole time. I got places That's not I can't listen to your bass for this long. No, dude. <laughs> you can't do that shit. Like, I listen yeah, to, the I listen to almost like, I have like the fucking 40 minute tracks. But they like doing one bass riff. And it just kills the momentum. The thing is, I see what they're trying to do. And like do, yeah. doing like okay, we're gonna have like one steady beat, and then all the other people are just gonna do like free improv over it, and it's gonna be interesting because it's but unpredictable. It's not interesting. It's bad. It's, yeah. it's bad improv. I As I said, the solos are not good. They're like, just like it's so it's like they're trying like... to be jazz, but they're not actually good at jazz. So they're just doing some weird <laughs> like. I think this would work more if they had like a lot more like instrumental density because it's so minimalistic. It wouldn't it, be a yeah, bad song thing, but like is in seven eight time signature but it feels like none of the players know how to play seven eight so just they're just playing four and four <laughs> but they just like keep cutting back because they're like oh shit i forgot this is in seven eight it's and it sticks just around like amateur hour the song yeah but yeah. aside from that i think the rest of the album is pretty solid like overall yeah i don't it's, it's not a amazing solid overall but i, do I don't like think it. it's, it's bad but um, for sure. look i don't think they took any risks on this yeah i don't think mm-hmm. they did anything like instrumentally unique or like compelling compared with all the rest of the discography? I yeah. don't think they did anything. I don't think that I think the thought process behind it was just okay. Let's let's do another album, I guess. 
Yeah, I and mean, it's it is such different. a shame. It is different. Like, it's okay. more sort of mellow and proggy than their other stuff. Yeah, like, but why like, is it mellow? Look the... at the album cover. Okay, let oh, me, yeah, let me, the let me album say cover. something. I wish it sounded like the album cover, but like it feels... You know how they did like really sort of riff-heavy garage rock before Orc? Yeah. And then they went in a sort of more prog and like, um, I guess, crop rock direction? Yes. And it feels like they went all out on that side now. Like they continued the progression and then like almost abandoned the garage sound. But it sounds so and generic. It's like <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I, I, I think okay. it's, uh, sorry. No, ahead, I really want to say this because I think this came up um, last time as well. Um, when you say that like, it doesn't do anything new and it's just kind of the same as they've done before, or like it doesn't take it to a new direction. I, you, most of the time, I am fine with that. If a band that I really like releases a oh. new album that, like, yeah. doesn't really do anything new, but if it's just, if they do, like, a, like a, a bit of a more generic mode, but if they do it well, I'm fine with it. But I feel like here, it's just that, like, it's too much of, like, the same. Like, I would be fine with them having a bit of a more, like, mellow mood. As you were saying, like that doesn't, it, yeah, it doesn't really. Matter. They're not there's, as good. There's as no harm in, the in putting thing. tracks that are a completely different feeling in, in it for the sake of variety. Even if it doesn't land in the album, like like yeah. as as a hit, it's still nice to have that variety there. And yeah. if it doesn't hit, you still tried something new, and That's you'll true. see if if people hate it, what not to do next time. But they don't yeah. really do that. I mean, they they are uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't okay, think yeah, they really right. have any like different. I I mean, we talked about anthemic aggress- aggressor, Overthrown. and that's kind of like I guess different. you could say like it's different because it's so long, but it's still like just the same mood, same groove. Overthrown is different, what? and I wish the whole album sounded like that. Yeah, it's I the wish one it was, like, like I just feel so funky. like baited because again, that's the <laughs> yeah. first track they put out, <laughs> yeah, and it's like the, the only single. track on the entire album that sounds different. <sighs> You guys all got double baited too, because I've been listening to it on Fubar, and Fubar doesn't show the album cover. So you all have this amazing picture of this wicked, rad looking demon overlooking like yeah. an eclipsed sun and a burning city. Yeah. And I'm just sitting here with a bunch of words. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess that's, that it's good that you kind of have that view as well, because like, then we have it's unbiased have diversity in our yeah. yeah I, have, I have completely different expectations judging on the imagery, because yeah, you think I, someone I was who's really a... into art. Would would be looking at the album art, but I, I just haven't been this whole time. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know, because like you expect it to be more like sort of metal, and just like yeah, more nah. like murkier, I guess the mix as well, more bass, more, <sighs> more like sort of shredding the guitar. But it's just it. like it's just a really like sort of le- mellow, like soft sound. I feel like that doesn't yeah. really fit the album art at all. You know what yeah. this album art needed? <sighs> it me. needed mm-hmm. to be set in the desert. Because this is all of these tunes oh, yeah. sound like something like I could see like late night yeah, in a sure. desert. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. I think so. It's really dry guitar tones. And, yeah. And yeah, just overall, exactly. just not not like such an, an action oriented like art, you know? Definitely not. Because yeah. it's more like yeah. something like that fits more with a sort of like wandering around in the desert feel, as you said. It's yeah, like, not like, like the end of the world. Yeah, okay, and yeah, I, I live in a desert, so when I'm when I'm driving around <laughs> and listening to music. Like, if I heard, like, the entire album of Smoke Reverser, I'd be happy as a clam the whole dang time, because it fits the mood really well. Yeah, totally. And I think that's one thing. It's like, as I said, I do like like a lot of, like, this sort of, these albums, this and King Gizzard, that even if they have a lot of the same feel, I can enjoy it as a background song, especially when I'm drawing, or, like, doing something different, or just, like, kind of laying in bed, walking around outside. But if I had to, like listen to this for the sake of listening to it for like a podcast and like kind of review it uh, it's not gonna hit me as so well so you're there. saying you normally wouldn't want to listen to this i well it it, it really just depends on the context because like if i if i'm listening to this as a background song i would probably enjoy it a lot because it's got that l- nice mood that keeps going yeah but it would if also kind of be being going in the mood for like background the music is completely different from yeah uh, definitely but yeah. doesn't that only confirm that it's kind of like not interesting compared p- compositionally mm. yeah it's and definitely a more yeah. uh laid back beat than something yeah and i think if you're to listening to it as a background song it's gonna be more like going from one ear to the other and you're not really gonna focus on the 
specific bits or like you're not going to be able to tell between the songs but more like you're just going to be absorbing the overall feel of it yeah but that's not what i wanted with a fucking album by these dudes yeah i get it yeah, yeah, so no, exciting yeah but what, this are, what are their other albums like um <sighs> like very psychedelic inspired by like fucking 1970s german rock music Ooh. yeah uh, more like more garage more punk you definitely know. Uh, the oldest sh- stuff was definitely like more aggressive. Yeah. More groovy. Yeah. More... Gotcha. Like, that, that's why I didn't want this. Yeah. Like, I, I wish would be... the whole album was like Overthrown. If like Overthrown wasn't like, even on the solid, album, I would but... not be that as mad of, uh, yeah. on the would, album. Would either of you say this is a good album to introduce this band to something? Mm-hmm. No, no, fuck this nah. album after this guy. <laughs> it's not. It's so, it's... I they want you to just me to it with this. <laughs> The thing with me is like yeah, <laughs> from the music, uh, I can't say it's bad. It's just not interesting to me. But I'm, s- I, but I still hate the album so much because I'm so mad at it for not having Overthrown. <laughs> yeah. Shaking your fist. Like if Overthrown wouldn't be even be a track on the album, I wouldn't be mad at it. I would just be like, okay, I, I don't really care. But yeah, throw it away. Like why why you. do you deliver yeah. a track this good into an album that's like 50, 55 minutes? Of nothing like the track that is good. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm so disappointed. Should we move on to like reviews or something? I think we're kind of going sure. in a loop here. Yes. Yeah. Good. Um, okay. I, I want to start. I, I'll give this album a fucking bait out of 10. Mad out of 10. An angry face out of 10. Yeah. I, think it's, uh, I think it's solid. It's not as good as Orb. It's solid. Like, I don't hate it. It's fun. I'm going to... I'm going to contrast i think this album is swimming around kind of um floating around in a in a calm lake compared to the expectation of surfing it's boring during of surfing in big tides yeah you can enjoy say... but it's not what you like expect sure nice good next all right six i would give this a uh alternative trigun ost out of 10 Oh yes. wow! I have no idea. Very right. good. Said. No, that that's good. You don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I. All right. Uh, next album or? Oh, you guys yes. Here, okay, now else? we're getting to yes. the interesting bit. So here, right, here we go, boys. Good this is the interesting final, part. Oh, yeah. I disagree. I've just been okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Let's just go one by one. Like overall, like, did we like it? Did we yes. understand what was going on? You know. Yes. I think this we we can have some pretty different views about this. Look, I'm so. <sighs> Fucking glad this album exists. Yeah. Look. Totally. I'm guessing most of you are not that familiar with the genre they play in. Oh yeah, explain Zoo. Okay, Zoo. Uh, that's like... Okay, Zoo is probably the most specific genre I know. Because look, it's like some kind of progressive, avant-garde, experimental, whatever genre. That has it's like its a progressive own, rock It has its genre. own fucking language. You need to learn the zoo language to play zoo. What the fuck's like, have you noticed that all the titles the... are in? Yes. Have you noticed that you... none of this sounds Japanese, even though they are Japanese? That's because they're speaking zoo. Uh, and look... The language is called Kobayan. Yes. So that's... And uh, look... But I think this. I think this album is actually like the language might be different. I'm not sure. But it's still a made-up language. I don't know. Yes, it's, definitely. Uh, the same one. Matt you you mean definitely. this whole time they haven't been saying words that actually mean anything? No. They, it probably yeah. means something, but you, it doesn't make sense to you because you I don't do, know the I language. Why didn't anyone tell me this sooner? This is exactly the kind of thing I want. I listen to music that <laughs> so has looks... Japanese in it because I don't want to understand it. What a weep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not clear <laughs> what language is used for Koenji Hake lyrics. For the most part, lyrics are reminiscent of Christian Vander's Kobayan language. I see. Uh, but it's not the same? Or well, it's definitely it? interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And look, it's because it's such a specific genre, there's not a lot of music under it, but the yeah. music that is under it is so... Like, uh, pioneers of this is probably, like, this weird band called Magma. When did Magma, they yeah. surf, surf, come to the surface? Like, are we talking Never, 90s, like, no. 2000s? Uh, like, ni- fucking 70s. Oh, cool. Yeah. And it's, oh, that's, it's been such a dead genre... And now these dudes come back to deliver this album. Oh, I'm so happy. So this is this. like kind of rising up, like as a phoenix. Yes. Hell yeah, yeah. I like that. But the thing is, it was it. never so like, 
it was never like super big like a phoenix it was always just right. like okay there's a couple of albums under it and then yeah there's like no more. one big band like there's one big super yeah, band and that's, that's it. magma yeah uh, i looked it up uh, mechanic commando was released in 1970 no recorded in 1973 but not released until okay. 1989 actually okay basically should we like, go, like okay we we can have some like background stuff before that but should we do this like one song at a time because there's only seven here so i think we could like kind of go one by one maybe um, i'm not such a fan of listing of tracks honestly that, that's yeah, fine i'm just like, like my notes tracks. here for you have notes track. you have notes yeah but go i ahead. think generally i want to go uh, one by one. Oh, should we like uh, actually say what the album's called i don't think we did Oh, uh, it's Koenji Hiake Dorem Vishka, I guess. Yeah, Koenji Hiake. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the description. Oh yeah, we yeah. gotta say what it's called. Koenji Hiake. Okay. Dorem yeah. Vishka. Yeah. How do you how do you pronounce sure. the band's name? Koenji Hiake. Uh, uh, it's like Japanese pronunciation, probably. Well, yeah, it's exactly it's a Japanese. Japanese band. It's like two words, I think. At least in in um. Yeah. When I download it, it has like two words, so it's like Koenji Hiake. Yeah. I don't um, know how to pronounce this. Something I'm not like fucking... that. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, for this. I'm just gonna say I think this album like I don't know what the genre listing is in most of places but I, I think it's just a super cool mesh of like it's got a lot of jazz inspiration yeah. there's a lot of it's also, so like, some funk yeah. a lot of like sort of rock, rock things but also a li- little bit of like metal instrumentation here and there it's got fucking some opera singing as well Yes. With like male and I female. did. I actually did love the male, opera male and female like oh, yeah. opera stuff. There, it's got it's got like in um in Jebel Agizom, the fifth track. It's got a <laughs> fucking awesome piano solo that is totally like different from the rest of the album, and it's so like jazzy. It's got, got like the tonality. Oh it, yeah, I remember Jebel. Yeah, it, yeah. Okay, it before, starts out like with this. Yeah, it starts like, with a, fucking awesome. bass. Um, it's it, super aggressive, it, and then it goes into this piano jazz solo, oh, yeah, and, and it's got like, it's got <sighs> yeah. the lick. If you if you don't know yeah. the, what the lick is, it's got the lick in the background for a lot of it. It's like bum 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 bum. I love it. Yeah. It's so groovy. Yeah, I just, this album overall, is fucking great. I love for disorienting the album. It's all like Zul is all about like weird time signatures and stuff. Oh yeah, and they really play. It's so like, like the both track, impressive. The sixth and track good. is in thirteen eight. And yeah. then it goes. What? I like your fucking record. Yeah. It's Thir- like, thirteen, eight. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's and then like, I didn't even know that time, time signature, signature existed. Oh, everything exists. If you believe. Didn't like notice. change the time signatures up every single fucking second. Oh yeah, and, yeah. and yeah, shit, it's it transitions so good. into seven four in the same. And it's track. only more impressive if you f- consider how many people are in this band. Yeah, oh, yeah. Playing so many instruments and all just playing. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. even the fucking, fucking BPM just speeds up slowly, and they're just playing with perfect chemistry. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, what's the is, most this... impressive thing about this? Like it's, it's so like technical and so like. <sighs> Fun is so, like, like it's most... not like you know how some like really sort of avant prog bands like play play the super technical and wanky stuff and like super boring because mm. they don't know I wouldn't say boring like, I know a lot of uh, like generally technical bands like enough in metal and whatever uh, most of them just want to emphasize how good they are doing what they do I think a really cool and yeah, it's just like, like so album. like confusing and weird that you just have to constantly focus on it this album is technical and fun to listen to at the exactly, same time because i think yeah, that's really that's cool. the thing it's it keeps so fucking interesting like every single like they change into a new part like every five seconds and every part is so it, good it doesn't like, sound pretentious boring. that's the thing yeah, yeah hello. if you listen to yes, this like yes, before it sounds so hard pretentious but it's not, might not even like realize too. if you don't examine it like if you don't think about it if you don't think about the technicality you're still gonna enjoy it it's not yeah. technical for the sake of like, like showing off how good you are it's technical because it's for for it to sound good you know I mean, that's yeah. thing, like a lot of like weird avant-garde music are just like totally weird and abstract to most people to, to all the plebeians you know uh <laughs> <laughs> i'm like sure us. like the, the the average person could enjoy this look um, i yeah. like atonal stuff i i like sort of like early 20th century modern orchestral music i've been to concerts i love that shit but a lot of it can be like okay how dissonant can we make this 
so that the plebeians <laughs> don't understand. But here, <laughs> I don't feel like they're doing, they're making it dissonant and atonal to be cool and modern. I feel like they're doing it because, hey, this sounds really good. Let's record this, you know? Yeah. And this, like, it's catchy. Yeah. yeah. Even though it's, like, so fucking, like, weird and technical, like, it's... You can it's because like, up, like even though it's fucking rad nowadays, even though yeah. instrumentally it like switches from one idea to another extremely quickly, oh. every single idea is just like super catching, like yeah. just instantly goes into your mind. And, like everything is so varied. Like I, I mentioned, the vocals it's got some like general sort of high pitch like um, solo stuff, and then it's got like choir backings. It's yeah, got like opera when the choir is kicking, yeah. it's got some female scatting. Like... It's got like some, some fucking scanning that goes like. Bada, 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 bada. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Love yeah. scanning. This dude, when when freaking so, I live with a a guy who uh, who listens to a lot of jazz because he, he used to play in a bunch of bands and stuff. Right. Um. But the moment he heard like the scatting, he's like, "What the hell are you listening to? I like it." <laughs> it's now the scanning is perfect. It's the best thing about it. I like how, yeah. like, in the choirs, there's, like, this one guy who does, does that, like, death metal growl. <laughs> Have you noticed that? Oh, yeah. In the choirs, there's one guy going, <laughs> red, 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 red. It's, it's really humorous, and they've got some, like, Fucking I think, yeah. in the last it's, like, track. like, so wacky and, like, theatrical. Oh, and, totally. Uh, they've got some, like, a, yeah. some parts, it's totally, like, humorous. Like, in the, in the last track, they've got some, like, weird bit in the beginning where it goes totally into, like, this folk song, like, bum, 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 bum. Boom. Yeah. yeah, it's so weird. It <laughs> catches you off guard. Yeah, like martial back. drumming and yeah, yeah, it's fucking weird. It's I love it. It feels like it yeah, flows together so well, even though in theory it should not. Yeah. Thing is, yeah, uh, I know we would circle jerk each other off because of this album. So I was That's searching true, yeah. for things to criticize about it. Okay. Okay. The um, first song. The first <laughs> song made me not want to little. listen to the rest because it was a bit more repetitive than the rest. I feel it's uh, it's Probably a lot like, more. I think there's not as much structure to the chaotic sort of overtones and atonality. I think it's that's as close as it gets to being dissonant for the sake of being dissonant. Like, it doesn't flow together as well as the rest of the songs. I still like it, but I don't think but, it's like, it's definitely not as strong as the rest of the No, album. you can't criticize the first song. The first song had to like, <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, I did like that, but I, I don't know, it felt like towards the middle it, it no, had that you. same I I, problem I, I, that I, I feel when I same. listen to King Gizzard. Okay, I get you. Well, how long is the first track? The first uh, track's like ten uh, minutes. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's ten minutes. nineteen. It's the second, like oh, the first track and the last tracks are over ten minutes. But yeah, the last track, every track is long, but it's like okay. I think the last yeah. track works because it's got that sort of variety. It's got that weird like yeah. folk parody, opera parodying, and then it goes like to atonal scatting. It's a lot more varied than the first track. I have like very little to criticize about this. I'm right. like, it's I thought great. maybe this would sound too much. I like, there's very little that. I, I think my about. expectations like, were like ruined a little bit because like you send me you send me three show me three albums right. It's yeah. Slime Language, Smart Reverser, and Dora and Visca. Yeah. And I should have listened to Slime Language first because I was like, okay, these these are songs with normal lengths, like you know, three minutes, four minutes, three and a half, you know, normal <laughs> right. lengths. The first song, I'm expecting, like, okay, this will be a nice three-minute song. And they just never ended. I'm like, what is happening? And I think that's what <laughs> threw me off. because And it, like, it put a bad taste in my mouth because I just wasn't expecting such a long song. Wait, so you but, listened like, to Doran Vishka first? Yeah, I listened to Doran Vishka okay. first. So, so it, it kind of threw off my expectations. And my, my brain is just like, ugh, song too long. No one listen. So <laughs> that was my problem. <laughs> But upon re-listening a couple times, you know, it is it is quite fun. It takes a little bit of getting used to if you album. haven't listened to this sort of this music before, I think. Well, that's For the me, thing. Like... I gotta st- I'm going to steal this from Bulis because I know he was going to say it. Every single song would fit perfectly in a Katamari Damacy game. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I never even thought about that. Yeah, Hell it's yeah. the vocals. The I only, think it's the, the only vocals. Katamari Damacy yeah, like song the ba- I know ba- ba- is ba- it's the, um, the main theme, like... Da, 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 yeah, right? Yeah. Da, da, da. I do understand yeah. that. I I think that's a pretty cool thing to say, because like, you can put it to the context of like rolling a big ball of everything around to this sort of crazy... <laughs> yeah. crazy that's scanning. a really good analogy yeah, it's for so, this like, album, wacky, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. It's a mesh of everything, you know? You're putting everything yeah, yeah, in this yeah. ball of craziness. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. It's I the was like, of albums. I think that's. I was like really listening to it, and I needed like a reason to not say that this is like a masterpiece album because I I didn't feel 
it, I mean, it might still grow on me a little bit, but really I have little to nothing to criticize about that. I thought maybe, because the genre plane is so specific, that it might play, uh, like sound too much like copycats or like contemporaries of the past self. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think what uh, differentiates them from like Magma and all the other big, big under like parentheses, uh, bands that played in the genre is like, I think they sound way more jazzy and like, yeah, it's very yeah, definitely that's more what I was fun. Gonna say. Like, it's yeah, more jazz to, fusion. I think if you listen to 70s Zool, uh, you wouldn't get that fun aspect of it. It just sounds like technical, impressive, whatever stuff that you just sit and listen and be like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Was any but you wouldn't be like, the 70s you fun? wouldn't fucking dance to it. <laughs> wow, dude. Wow. <laughs> Boomers. I think, Boomer. I think this album might like start a new wave. Of albums playing a genre. Uh, it's like a I'm new wave or something. <laughs> yeah, probably like because it sounds know, like such a redo something. It, it sounds like a new new like a I don't know how to explain this. It sounds like you put take the genre and actually dip it into like modern music. Right. So it, I will like say this is one time. album I will be showing a lot of people because this is this is yes. so much fun to just like listen to. That w- I could just have any kind of conversation while listening to you it. You can, like, put yes. this in the background of, like, any any sort of, like, meeting and just, yeah. like, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, the only, the only negative thing I have to say about this is, like, sometimes they do these, like, guitar solos that just sound cheesy as fuck, which I wouldn't I mean, expect I from an album it's... like that. But I know, like, the guitar effect they do, uh, uh, I don't know, very fitting to the jazz instrumentation, I think, because it sounds more, like boomer metal to me boomer metal. what is it <laughs> with the thing is <laughs> boomer metal. All right. but the thing is they only do like throughout the entire album there are two guitar solos two of them right. so really this little criticism is really not hitting my, my favorite enjoyment part of this is, album the, a lot. is the piano solo in in the f- fifth one it yeah. just catches you it's like bam we're jazz we're yeah that's jazz. my favorite track too like the drum is so like the drum i think carries the entire jazz oh, feel totally drummer because Holy it, shit. it's first of all the drumming is so good on this i think he carries the entire instrumentation on this like yeah, really all good. the other uh people in the band just listen to the drum and play according to him i mean yeah he's yeah. keeping the beat or is she yeah and know. like he's so so good at like keeping the tempo and everything and totally. like i love how jazzy plays like in jazz it's he like okay wait <laughs> Uh, the kind of jazzy kind of drumming he does where, where you like hit the uh, fucking not higher but a cymbal every fucking fourth beat but only a little bit so you get that metallic clank throughout the, the entire cymbal. tracks yes yeah I get you I mean yeah. I, I've um, been playing in a jazz band for I a couple of that. years now so like I, I really kind of get that feel like there's a different there's a different sort of exp- feel yeah. when you drum like in jazz or when like you're drumming in a rock band definitely don't expect me to know like technical stuff i just think okay normal drumming you just hit the thing and sometimes hit the cymbal when you need to and like but in jazz you just stroke the cymbal every single second you get some cool to sounds get metallic though. clanks throughout the entire tracks that's all my mind says when i hear jazz yeah no that's fair totally and that's what i get in this and a little bit all i know right. I love how disorienting it is. I love how fun it is at the same time. It's definitely one of the best of the year. Oh, Probably oh yeah, the top like five for sure. Century, not century, but like last ten years. Yeah. Is it ratings time? Um, ratings time. I don't yeah, know. Sure. I have the album. Uh, we gotta think. Uh, we gotta think of some good analogies for this. Or are we just gonna go with is is Katamari Damashi of of like jazz fusion? Is that our consensus? Yeah, I, I would say that's so. really good. Yeah. I'll it's a Katamari it made, of, uh, made of lots of really yummy snacks and the occasional uh, meaty rhythm. Totally, it's got the, it's got you've 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 rolled it around in like pools of rhythm of like jazz tonality with modern a tonality with scatting vocals with opera parodies, everything you can think of, and it's like you look at it, and it's so weird that your brain doesn't even know how to function it. Oh, I yeah. have the album three lines of cocaine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> all right sure i think i i'm gonna go with um smoking three blunts before going to an atonal orchestral concert out of 10 yes uh, i'm gonna give it eating lots of weed out of 10 <laughs> you can't just steal mine i guess we're even <laughs> yeah 
All right, Zix. Uh, I already. I, uh, well, he's good. It was great. I I would give it a um a, yes. lo a long lost PlayStation Two game you never knew you loved out of ten. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's the best. Yes, one. that is a great one. Clap for that. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that good. <laughs> Please clap. Please clap. <laughs> I'll be up, I'll be here all night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Oh, I fucking peaked the recording. Oh, my God. Okay. Me too. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. So. All right. Is that it? That was Are it. Good? Yes. Are we gonna do another? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Plug your twitters and twitches. And Holy. Whatnot. Bull, you uh, go first. I don't even care. All just right. listen to just listen to the uh, fucking group static swords, please. I need money. <laughs> Feed my children. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> link it in the description. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, go go look at my YouTube channel. Haha, <laughs> no, you're already on it. Oh, ah, gotcha. oh man. God, You'll down. never get another mashup ever again, you boomers! <laughs> <laughs> I, I just came for the mashups, but this is shit. Yeah, <laughs> who cares? Who cares? That's a thumbnail, who cares? Okay. Oh yeah, I'm for sure using that. <laughs> if I still have it. Um, what, what should the thumbnail be? Oh yeah. I have it, I have it ready. I guess oh, Luke damn has it. his thing again, so I'm just gonna plug, um... You can find me on Twitter, and the, um... You can find me on Twitter, on YouTube. I do. I, I'm starting to do more like video game music covers. I play the accordions. I said you're gonna find a, a lot of that. Don't subscribe, please. <laughs> You'll regret it. And um, you. listen, listen. To, I'm gonna instead of plugging my SoundCloud, which I do have. Wink, wink. <laughs> I'm gonna plug you to listen to Torin Vishka because it's a good fucking album. Wow, well, yeah. Wow, well, generous. Wow. So selfless. Oh yeah, I have a Twitter too. Uh, at Bulus with three O's. Six. Ooh. It is a three. Oh, uh, I'm Zeno. I'm Zix. You can call me yes. Zeno. Uh, you can find yes. me on Twitter at Ultima Zix. Uh, I also stream fairly often. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Ultima Zix. I do art. I do wink, video wink. games. I cook. Uh, and you can also... Die. Yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay. Thank God. Okay. Yeah, man. Ending Concur in our nice. Hit him up. <laughs> and you're gonna dark mode. Can we can we have a stanky uh like fucking accordion lick for the ending? You can oh, you yeah. can you can paste yeah, the yeah, yeah. you have in the beginning. You can put it to the end no, as well. No, no we need a original one. Oh, I'm I'm now? so excited. I've <laughs> been I've been now? hoping to hear it all night. I will I will play an accordion lick for you. Oh, grab the thing here. Alright. Are you guys ready? No, probably no. not. <laughs> That's good, because you're never ready. Uh, let me place my microphone it right sounded here. like you cocked a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I voice, that's it. I'm, I won't say anything. Uh... <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh shit, he's still going. It's not stopping. There you go. Just Is make me want to tap dance. Yeah. Alright, please clap. I'm so erect right now. I love it. Good. Let's do the outro. Dude. So, is there like an outro? Do we yes, dude, do, 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 just improvise. Do it. Outro. Do it. Uh, uh, see, see you guys in the next episode. That was cheesy. Okay, bye. Bye. Alright, yeah, bye. <laughs>